Okay, aloha, welcome. Thank you for joining me today on live stream. My name is Master Paul. Took a little while to get this set up because I'm going live on Zoom today to come to you. And I wanted to make sure this is all working. So give me a moment to make sure the audio is working and all that. Good, that's all working. So very happy to be connecting with you today. Uh, today is inner beauty, outer beauty. And it is a subject that actually has very little understanding, deep meaning. I'm going to read some information from you uh, on this subject from Dr. Master Shah from his book, Soul Healing Miracles. And for those of you that are not familiar, this is the book called Soul Healing Miracles. And this is my spiritual teacher, spiritual father, Master Shah. And um, Master Shah uh, wrote this book. Gosh, it's been about uh, seven years ago, maybe about seven years ago, a little bit less possibly. Let me see, when was the copyright on this? Take a quick peek here. Two thousand thirteen, so it's been uh, almost five years, or about five years, and uh, this was the first book actually that he put his special calligraphies in, which we will be using one of those today, the special calligraphy on um, on uh, inner beauty, outer beauty. <clears throat> so let's see who's joined us today. Welcome Susan Birchmore, Aloha Jennifer, Aloha Zilke. And aloha, welcome Vanessa, welcome Elizabeth, aloha Pat, and welcome Tali Ayers, welcome also to Karen, and Lisa Zarniak, and Sajita, welcome also Sharon Dodd, and thank you for joining today. Uh, those are the only ones I've seen listed so far, I'm sure there's a few others of you that have joined. <clears throat> so thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. Been a very busy week, we had Master Cecilia in town at Master Shaw's Dow Healing Center, we were off-site in a hotel, and so it's always a bit more hectic when you have to take your entire uh, audio, video team, and everything from your main um, room to an off-site location, set it up, do an event for a couple of days, and then break back down, reset up. So it's a busy week. But uh, in either case, I'm sure it benefited my inner beauty, outer beauty. I also went through a little physical purification. I think it boiled down to a little food poisoning. In hindsight, that's probably what it was. <clears throat> you know, hot, cold sweats, all that stuff. But I'm here to serve you. So today is Monday. It is 29th day of January. We are well into and almost finished with the first month of this year. And the, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, subject matter moving forward, I really want to focus on more on the 10 Das, which is love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. Uh, uh, working with the ego, humility, uh, harmony, harmonizing our life, harmonizing humanity, harmonizing every part of our lives. Uh, flourishing, all of us need more flourishing. So I will try to <clears throat> present whatever I present in the light of the 10 Da moving forward so we can more and more grid in our arms. Today's subject is indicated is from this book, Inner Beauty, Outer Beauty. If you want to go along with me, it's on page 164. That's where I'll be reading from. So you can grab your book if you want. We won't start right away, but I wait for a few more people to connect. 161 technically is where it starts. <clears throat> and let's see who else might have joined us. So welcome Lorraine Norma Hayden. And welcome Lali Singh. Welcome Susan Harvey. And Oladapo, welcome Aloha. Welcome also Sitha Biso. And also Aloha, welcome Lodzia. Welcome Janice and welcome Dimple. Thank you all. For coming. Thank you also for hitting the share button and letting other people know about today's live stream. Thank you. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. <clears throat> we drop the left hand in front of our heart center and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. I will try to adjust the camera to where you can see a little bit more of where my hand position is. 
Let us close our eyes and I will invite in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao and the source, all masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, buddhas and bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels and archangels, masters and ascended masters, beloved Jesus and beloved Mother Mary, beloved Nam Amitofu, Kuan Yin, beloved Krishna, beloved Ganesha, and more. Our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, beloved Mother Earth, <clears throat> all the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all. Thank you all. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your support, your blessings, your life saving, and more. We ask as appropriate for your presence today to help with the guidance and the wisdom and the teachings on inner beauty and outer beauty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the source, soul song of love, peace and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We invite you to please be present with us at this time <clears throat> to assist in whatever way is most appropriate. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant love, peace, and harmony at this time. So as we chat together, allow that to become grounded, to fully connect. Anybody that's new, this is this is a healing mantra and a mantra that is inside of 40 plus. You can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. So let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, li, lula. Lula, 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 lula. Oh, I will shin Song I ping on a say, Song I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, a peace. And harmony, <clears throat> love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. We have a full house today. Lots of beings of light have come. They must really be appreciative of this subject matter. So, welcome, Deborah Anderson. Welcome, Candy Cornette. Welcome, Kristen Rojas. Angie Taylor. Kathy Arnold. Aloha. Welcome, Monica. And welcome also to Magdalena and welcome Bibi Perez. Welcome to anyone else whose name I haven't mentioned, Elizabeth, aloha. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for clicking on that share button. So it's been a busy week as indicated, but I am back. I'm here ready to serve you. Inner beauty and outer beauty. If you saw my pre-post, I had a picture of a Buddha statue and it said something, and I can't remember the exact words, it was something to the effect of, 500 smiles is, is greater, excuse me, something like a pure heart is greater than 500 smiles. Uh, not quite sure of the verbiage, but it was something like that. And so what does that mean, a pure heart? A pure heart is one that is free of selfishness, free of greed, free of uh, self-degradation, free of judgment and criticism. These are all aspects of a lack of alignment with the ten da, of course. Uh, if we have a lack of love for self, we do not have enough da I, love for self. Da I is the greatest love. If we have uh, unpleasant things that we say to or about ourselves, then we do not have enough da quan chu, the greatest forgiveness. If we loved ourselves, if we forgave ourselves, then we would definitely and easily have more inner beauty. 
Why is that important? Because it is directly associated with how we bring ourselves to the outer world. It is directly associated with how we um, bring ourselves to life, what we manifest in our life. Our outer beauty, so much emphasis has been put on outer beauty in terms of flesh from the media, from marketing, from all forms of sex-driven advertisement. <clears throat> there is so many standards that are virtually impossible to attain or maintain that it creates uh, an, uh, uh, a, a great level of stress for many people if they do not ground themselves in their own inner beauty and let the outer beauty be reflected accordingly. Now, of course, this goes much, much deeper. On the spiritual levels, Master Shaw has quite a bit to say on this. And so let's see what wisdom is needed to share with us on this. Now, in this book, Sohini Miracles, this is the first book that Master Shaw released, Calligraphies. And the second calligraphy that he placed was called Inner Beauty, Outer Beauty. And the Mandarin Chinese is Guangliang Haomei. Guangliang Haomei. So let's read what he has to say about this. Guang means light. This light includes the light of Mother Earth, the light of heaven, and the light of the Tao Source Creator. Liang, L-I-N-G, Liang, Guang Liang, means transparency. Transparency is also light. This light can go through organs and systems. This light is the light on one's spiritual journey. The highest achievement is to transform the physical body into a light body. The highest achievement is to transform the physical body into a light body. This is called body enlightenment. When your body has become a light body, a person who has an advanced who has advanced third eye abilities, can see through your body as though it were transparent. Transparency is very important for healing and to uplift one's soul journey. The new source mantra, Guangliang Haomei, translates to transparent light brings inner and outer beauty. Transparent light brings inner and outer beauty. Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> so he goes on to say on the next page, 162. Layers of a human body. I am sharing another major secret. A human being's body has two layers. One layer is named Yuxing. Yuxing uh, means it has shape and can be seen. The other layer is named Wu Xing, W Wu Xing, which means it has no shape and cannot be seen. So, did you know that? That you had two layers of your body a layer that can be seen, a layer that could not be seen. <clears throat> Yu Xing, the layer that can be seen, includes the sublayers of capillary systems, organs, and systems. And Wu Xing, the layers that cannot be seen, includes the meridian systems. Ever heard of the acupuncture meridian systems? No one can see them, but they're there. Transparency and light. I'm delighted to share with each of you that we are directly working on the highest layers. The highest layers are light and transparency. Therefore, when we chant Guang Liang Hao Mei, uh, which translates to light and transparency, brings inner beauty and outer beauty. When we visualize any area of our body shining this brightest light and becoming transparent, it is the highest spiritual and energy healing we can do. Isn't that interesting? So he's saying, chant this for a specific area or, or of your body and see the light become so bright and so transparent that that actually is the highest form of creative visualization you can apply. We are extremely blessed <clears throat> that the source has released this wisdom and practice. I am extremely honored to be a servant for humanity. The word how, the third word of Guangliang Hao Mei, means 
perfect. How means to restore your health to normal and optimal conditions. So when we do blessings, we need to restore health to normal conditions. We need good health. May, the final word, Guang Liang Hao Mei, Mei is the fourth and final word of this new source mantra, and it means beauty. So in his teaching, there's inner beauty and outer beauty. Inner beauty is the qualities of the soul, the mind, and the body. Outer beauty is also qualities, also qualities of the soul, the mind, and the body. May includes inner beauty and outer beauty. So he goes on to describe some differences that you might not be aware of. For inner beauty of the body, <clears throat> he has bullet points. These include love, sincerity, forgiveness, compassion. These are not things that are external activities. These are internal attributes. Light, kindness, generosity, integrity, honesty, humility, purity, grace and gracefulness, selflessness, virtue, total gold to the divine Tao and source. That means total gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion, gold to the divine Tao and source, and much more. These are all aspects of inner beauty. And I want to acknowledge who else has joined us. Welcome, Stan Dabian. Welcome, Lola. Nola. Welcome, Nabadita. Welcome also to M. A. Drade and Ali Fess, Angela Diacomo. And if anybody else I missed, you welcome. There is also inner beauty of the mind. The first was inner beauty of the soul. Love, forgiveness, compassion, light, kindness, generosity, sincerity, honesty, integrity, humility, purity, grace, selflessness, virtue, and total gold. Inner beauty of the soul. What about inner beauty of the mind? Who would have thought about that? This includes peace, calmness, gratitude, joy, bliss, acceptance, selflessness, positivity, harmony, clarity, purity. Purity can be of the soul and the mind. So can selflessness. Creativity, inspiration, non-attachment. These are all inner beauties of the mind. Amazing. Hmm? So when we take the time to clear the blockages, that disallow us from having harmony, clarity, and purity in the mind, bliss and acceptance, detachment in the mind. <clears throat> it reflects externally. <clears throat> People want to be around us. People want to be a part of us. People want to uh, be close to you because there's something about you that glows. This is the inner beauty. There's also the inner beauty of the body. <clears throat> the beauty of the body includes health, energy, strength, flexibility, flow, flow, chi flow, balance, purity, harmony, freedom, attunement, and more. Interesting, huh? I don't think anybody sat down and expelled, spelled out in such a way, inner beauty, <clears throat> and broken it down into soul and mind and body. Master Shah talks about outer beauty of the soul, mind, and body. This includes actions that radiate love and forgiveness, and compassion, and light. I would include with that thoughts, words, and actions that radiate love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. But actions tends to represent an outer expression, whereas you may, inside of you, 
uh, radiate love, forgiveness, compassion, and light. And that would be an inner beauty attribute. So that's probably why he used the word actions. This includes behaviors that are carrying sincerity, integrity, kindness, gentleness, and warmth. So your speech overflowing with love, care, compassion, and light. And your speech resonates with inspiration. It's heart touching and moving. Have you ever uh, watched people speak and you just can't take your eyes off them? Something about them, they just carry a power about them that when they communicate, they communicate from their heart. They communicate a very pure, clear message with the highest integrity. And they state it with the greatest um, uh, knowingness. These people have taken the time to develop the inner beauty. They have activated within their thoughts, their words, within their beingness, the ten da. Love, forgiveness, compassion, light, harmony, humility, flourishing, service, all of them. This includes for outer beauty, thoughts that are offering grace, care, humility, purity, gratitude, and service. A body vibrating with health, fitness, groundedness, openness, and appeal. 